Welcome back to Sunless Sea. Before I get to what I plan to do for this episode, I did just notice something. I was just clicking around all the different options on what I could do just to see if I missed something, and I found something very interesting. Remember how I dumped off the Devil S at the Brass Embassy? And as far as I could tell, that was just the end of the quest? And I just kind of assumed that she died because I believe the, the Brass Embassy guy that I was talking to said that they're basically just going to kill her? So I thought that was completely done with, but I noticed something in my lodgings. Look at this. A calling card. A smoky flake of hand-lettered vellum. The wistful deviless has come to visit. The wistful devilless comes calling. She is as elegant as ever. A little careworn, though. You almost think she looks older. But she will never look older. I miss the peace of that place, she says. Palmerston. There was a little wind that walked in the grey grass on the mountain's slopes. It carried the smell of ashes. I hated it, because it reminded me of home. But now... Now I wake, and I think I hear it. At the convention. At a purpose. We were going to destroy so many things I lost faith in that purpose. But I have no more faith here. I should never have made you bring me here. <laughs> Sympathy for the devil. Uh, oh my god, I can offer to marry her. Wow. Um, we would make an interesting couple, wouldn't we? Just forgetting for the fact, uh, forgetting the fact at the moment that I'm already kind of married. Uh, technically, I don't think I'm married to my lover, but I have a lover and we have a kid. Just forgetting that for a second. A vampire marrying a devil. That is quite the combination. Okay, so sympathy, no sympathy, marriage proposal, or offer to take her about to, back to Palmerston. Well, I mean, it sounds like she wants to go back, but... I feel like if I did that, that'd be kind of a lame ending to the story. Very bland. I'm not going to offer to marry her, though. I'm not marrying a devil. Let's, um, let's have sympathy for her. Caustic Tears. Her tears make a singed wreck of your handkerchief. It's fortunate that she isn't actually weeping on your shoulder. I don't have a home, she snuffles. I can't have a home. I should never have been hatched. You pat her consolingly and wait for her to finish. It takes a while. She seems embarrassed when she leaves. Irritated, even, as if she blames you. The remnants of the handkerchief are oddly beautiful. Actually, like a singed snowflake. You can probably auction it. <laughs> I can auction it? That's kind of creepy. And also I noticed that she said I should never have been hatched. Hatched? She came from an egg? This just gets weirder and weirder. Okay, well, my repertoire with her, or whatever the word... It's not repertoire, is it? Rapport. I think that... I, I don't remember. The word that means how much you know somebody, basically. It's gone up. So, what does that mean? I mean, can I keep talking to her? Like, is she still here? No. Is that it? I mean, can I never talk to her again? That'd be kind of ridiculous. I hope I didn't just end that entire quest line. Is she at the Brass Embassy? No. Huh. Maybe sometime in the future when I come back to port, she'll pop up and want me to take her somewhere? Hmm. Yeah, I really hope I can continue that quest line. I'm really curious. What's going to happen with her? Okay, well, I guess that's it. Alright, so on to my plans. At the end of the last episode, I was originally thinking I would do something down south, which is absolutely what I'm going to do. I don't have any super concrete plans, because it really depends on what's going to happen with these various quests that I'm going to be doing. But, basically, it's roughly going to look something like this. I'm going to go down to the Cuban Canal, which the Admiralty wants me to go to to get strategic information. 
He wants me to bring the strategic information back to him, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to save it for the Avid Horizon for the Sigil Ridden Navigator's quest. But anyway, just going to get that at the Cumian Canal, go down to the Iron Republic. From there, I'm probably going to get the Hydrogen or whatever it is that I'm supposed to get for the Empire of Hands. I'll do that. I'm hoping that's not going to take up too much hold space. We'll have to see. If it does, then I might have to go straight for the Empire of Hands. I don't know. We'll see. Um, then I'm probably going to go down to Port Carnelian to do the quest that I got at Adam's Way, where the guy wanted me to find the monster that is supposed to be here at Port Carnelian. Then probably go over to Adam's Way and maybe turn in the quest. It really just depends on what happens with that quest. Then probably go to the Empire of Hands to drop off the Hydrogen? And then maybe the Isle of Cats to get some red honey, and then maybe go check out all this black stuff? I don't really know. It's going to look something like that. I'm pretty sure my plans are going to change, but we'll see. Anyway, I need just enough fuel to actually last me till the Iron Republic, because fuel is super cheap there. So this is enough fuel to last me till then. I do need more supplies, though. Also, I'm going to sell the Strange Catch, just because I really need cargo space, I think. Let's... Well, actually, let's not... Let's not sell it. Let's give it to the Alarming Scholar. There we go. Okay. Supply time. Hmm. Let's get a couple more. Okay. I think that's it. I've read the paper. Spend time with my family. All my port reports are turned in, except for the one from Mount Palmerston, of course, because I'm saving that for Adam's way. Hold is pretty clear. I don't need any more Zailers. Yeah, we're good to go. Time to go down south. Let's get a port report over here. Krabby! Should I explore? Or should I save my something awaits me in port? Save it for the perhaps different levels of quality that it may or may not have. I'm still not entirely convinced it actually has different levels. Eh, I don't think anything amazing would happen if I did this. I'll save it. Okay, port report. 
Let's do the Admiralty's commission. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet a contact at the foot of the Albertine Gates. There we go, there's my strategic information. A deeply tanned vagabond waits in a jolly boat. His clothes are ragged, and his face, his face is filthy, but his voice and manners are educated. His message is a string of numbers, and the names of seven towns in Essex, Shropshire, Cumbria. He insists that you repeat it back to him three times. He will not allow you to commit it to paper. <laughs> ragged clothes, faith is filth face is filthy, but his voice and manners are educated. So, I guess he's a spy trying to blend in with the locals, or maybe not trying to blend in with the locals, but at least trying to be somebody in the background that nobody pays any attention to. Clever. Should I listen for surface gossip? I can't remember where that gets me. Let's do it. Ah, it's a move in the great game. Okay, on to the Iron Republic. And actually, going to the Iron Republic will give me a good opportunity to figure out what one of my other officers wants. Um, I think it's the Irrepressible Cannoneer, right? Who wants the... I, I know he wanted a bunch of Stygian Ivory delivered to the Iron Republic, but there's something else he wanted too. And I can't remember what it is, so this time I'm actually going to write it down. Yep, and there's the hydrogen for the Empire of Hands, but before that... Alright, so what did he want? Alright, seven Stygian Ivory and twelve Devil Bone Dice. God, that is going to be hard to do. Man. That's 19 hold space right there. That does not leave me much to work with. Let me write it down. Seven Stygian Ivory. Twelve Devil Bone Dice for Iron Republic. For a weapon. That was twelve Devil Bone Dice, right? Yeah. Alright, got it. Okay, I'm not going to get a port report because weird stuff happens when I do that. So let's not do that. So let's do the Hydrogen. A generous supply of Devil's Breath is ready for transport to the Empire of Hans Zeppelin. Collect a shipment. No deposit is required. Whatever deal the monkeys have, have with the Republic, the Republic considers them good for it. Alright. Why do I feel like if I get shot at while I have a delivery of hydrogen on me, I'm going to explode? I'm a little bit worried about that. I feel like I shouldn't get into combat. It doesn't say, but... Like, I really think this is really dangerous stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into any fights with boats. Or probably anything. I, I don't even think I want to get into a fight with something that even doesn't have weapons, like a, a crab or something. I don't think I want to do it. Nah. Alright, well at least thankfully it only takes up one hold space, which is actually a huge relief. Let's uh, check out the Market of Hungers. Do I need any of this stuff? I don't think so. I mean, I need fuel, of course, but... Mm, 
what about the sack of dark drop coffee beans? I know that can be used at Adam's Way, I think? Or can it? I know it can be used at Aram. I can't remember. I don't think it matters. So I think I'm just going to buy as much fuel as I can possibly hold. Yeah, let's do that. And we're good. Okay, let's head to Port Cornelian. Although I think somebody told me that there's something interesting to find in the southwest of the map, I want to say, behind the Grand Geode, I guess. So maybe I want to go down there, visit the Grand Geode again. Perhaps there's another place, uh, another port. I know there's a lot of those crazy, like, golden ships, though, so I'm kind of worried about encountering them because I do not want to anger them. I do not want to fight them. But yeah, let's go down here a bit. Eh, yeah, snow. Or, wait, is this snow or is this dust? I think this is ash. Yeah, this is ash. Discover Castle Claire. I'm really fucking scared of this place. I don't like it. I don't like the storms. I don't like the super strong boats around here. I don't really want to go into this cloud of crap at half speed. Actually, this is even worth, worse than half speed. Eh. Eh. I don't know if I want to go here. If I see anything, I am turning around. The Dawn Machine. Oh. That's the thing. Right, the people of the Grand Geode are working on the Dawn Machine. That's what I delivered. Like, that's what I was helping to make that one time, right? When I delivered the Sphinx Stone to the Grand Geode, it's the Dawn Machine. I think I might be out of the cloud if I get right to the shore. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the map stops scrolling over. I'm on the edge. Ooh, is that a port right there? There we go. Well, it says port, but I don't see anywhere to dock. Whoa. This place is awesome looking. Look at this. Look at those formations. Just discovered the dawn machine. Look at those crystals. I think they're crystals. Oh, Jesus, that's loud. Ah. Uh. Um, hi. Is there somewhere to... What the fuck is that thing? Is there somewhere to dock? Or is that thing gonna blow me up? Okay. Don't look at it too closely. I am a vampire. I will die. I don't see anywhere to dock. This thing scares me. I think if I go near it, I'm going to explode. Um... What in the hell even is that thing? Other than something that's apparently supposed to bring light to the entire Untersee. I ain't going near it. Goodbye. I've seen enough. Jungle, jungle.
Oh. Oh, it's a behemoth dish. You know, I said I wouldn't get into combat, but... I'm gonna get into combat. It's not even turning around. There we go. music for this port is so cool. Harvest its flesh and its mustache. Nice. I've launched artifact to supplies, two hunting trophies, and Stygian ivory. Luxuriant treasure. Uh, apparently I have to fling it overboard. The unprepossessing mass. I don't really know why I had to fling it overboard. It's not like I was lacking hold space. Oh, fuck. Those things are nasty. They have so many hit points. Fuck, they're so close to the port. I mean, if I get to port, I'm fine, but... Okay, I think they're going. Get closer to shore. I'm in the red here. I'm going for it. I think I can get to port before they fuck me up. Oh, fuck. Oh, alright, whatever. I'm going for it. I'm committed. Maybe they don't even care about me. They don't seem to be coming for me. Huh. Oh, alright. Those things creep me out. So, I'm supposed to do a thing. And there we go, the Avuncular Broker's Snuffer. Snuffer hunting. The docks throng. The streets bustle. The blue bazaar heaves. Thousands upon thousands of faces. The snuffer could be hiding behind any one of them. How will you find it? Apparently, I won't. <laughs> Entice it with candles. Bait. And that only has a 14% chance of success. That is terrible. Alright, so it's either that... Or... Mobilize my non-existent network. Welp. That ain't happening. So how do I build up a network? Can I do that? I need a diplomatic agent. How do I get a diplomatic agent? I need to have networks already to even do this. So I guess this is what I need to do. I just don't know how to get a diplomatic agent. Hmm. Maybe it's related to this. Because this... Yeah, I need a diplomatic agent. And this says, the diplomats of the Canate were expelled from Port Carnelian following the Galatea incident. Only one remains behind. And it looks like I can go talk to them. So maybe that would be my agent. Let's go do it. Off the record. Oh, he's retired. Wait, that was just a port report? I'm trying to remember if I've read this before. Hmm, I don't think so. So, off the record. No, I'm retired now, he tells you, cheerfully. His crockery is white as the moon, and rimmed with gold. Over tea, he comments sympathetically on the governor's difficulties. I feel for the man, I really do. And asks probing questions regarding your travels. You manage to squeeze a few, squeeze in a few of your own. Oh, the Khan is very fond of sapphires. Blue is his favorite color. Actually, I think I did read this at one point a really long time ago. Alright, well that didn't work. Hmm. Can 
can visit the tea shop. Probably not going to do anything but reduce terror, but let's check it out. Yep, just reduce terror. Okay. Ah, oh, right. This place has super cheap supplies. I forgot about that. Okay, well that didn't exactly work out. I need a diplomatic agent, and I don't know how to get one. I want to write down... I guess I'm going to write down that I should bring uh, three candles to uh, Carnelian Place for Snuffer. I guess I'll write that down. I'm probably not going to do it, though, because the chance of succeeding is only 14%. And I'm assuming if I use... I'm assuming I'll use up the three candles, and if I fail... They get used up and nothing happens. So if I wanted, like, a good chance at actually getting this thing, I'm assuming I would need to bring, like, f 40 candles here. <laughs> I'm assuming. So I really don't want to do that. That seems like a terrible, terrible idea. I guess that's it. Okay, well, I don't really need supplies. Um... I don't really have a particular reason to go to Adam's Way anymore. I guess at this point, the only thing I really kind of need to do is just deliver the shipment to the Empire of Hands. The shipment of hydrogen. Hmm. I guess I'll do that. And you know what I feel like doing? I feel like spending crap tons of money at Wisdom. It's going to pretty much break the bank, but I think I want to finally progress that quest. So let's go do it. Yeah, let's... Um, let's skip Adam's way. I wouldn't mind hitting up Varkas, though. It's been so long since I've been there. I want to see what new stuff I can get up to there. Hmm... Let me think about this. Okay, my rough plan now is to just kind of head over to Adam's Way and then Varkas. Um, I don't have anything in particular to do at either place, but I really want to hit up Varkas because it's been a long time since I've been there. And I've never done much there. But I know there's there were so many, so many options last time I went there that there's got to be some really cool storylines. So I'm just going to go east and then probably go up to the Empire of Hands to deliver the hydrogen. And then probably to the Isle of Cats to maybe get some red honey... And then probably up to Wisdom to get the dude rescue him from prison. Something like that. So anyway, let's just start east. Of course, I gotta deal with these damn birds or bats or whatever the hell they are. But uh, before that, should I buy any supplies? They're very, very cheap here. You know, even the fuel is pretty cheap. It's actually cheaper than it is at Adam's Way, so I might as well fill up with as much stuff as I can here. Yeah. Because I think Adam's Way is probably 30 for the supplies and, like, 15 for the fuel. Or 25 for the supplies and 15 for the fuel, something like that. Hmm. Hmm. How much do I buy? There we go. That should be fine. Okay, now I'm going to wait for these things to go away. Thing is, I need to head in the exact direction they just went, so that's a little bit of a problem. I might go up to the Utter Shroom first, and then kind of, you know, do like a V-shape. Go up to the Utter Shroom, and then go down to Adam's Way. Kind of just skip this whole... This place here is scary. It's full of nasty stuff, and ash, and dust storms. In fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's do it. Don't these things have like 500 hit points? Yeah. Oh shit, they're coming this way. Please stop coming this way. 
I would really like it if you stopped coming this way. Oh, thank you. Fucking creepy things. Actually, creepy isn't the right word. They're not creepy, they're actually really pretty. But they're terrifying. Mostly because they're extremely fast, and they have 500 hit points. Now, if I remember right, there wasn't really anything interesting to do, to do at the Utter Shroom. Somebody did tell me, though, that if you bring a bunch of, um, I think it's prisoner's honey, to this place, that you can maybe do something interesting. So let's check that out and see if that is the case, because if it is, then I should write that down in my notes. As something to do one day. And if it is prisoner's honey, then prisoner's honey is actually pretty cheap. Oh wait, you just need one firkin of Prisoner's Honey? That is extremely cheap, that's like 20 or 30 Echo. Let's get a port report. So, do they give you a Blemigan? I think they're gonna give me a freaking Blemigan for one firkin of Prisoner's Honey. Hmm. So I can get a bunch of Blemigans and put them on all sorts of places around the Untersee. Ooh, what the hell would happen then? I know I once came across a bunch of Blemigans and it looked like they were doing a poetry recital, so perhaps they'll form little... little groups of poetry recitals all over the place? Get some nice poetry slams going or something? What the hell's a poetry slam? Is that even a thing? I don't know. I said it and it immediately sounded weird. Well, let's visit. A <laughs> day of spores. Tale of terror and plus one terror. I think I've already read this. Yeah, the spores clogging my throat. Gather like sleep in the corners of my eyes. This. Alright, yeah, so prisoner's honey. We'll have to do that one day. Alright, let's go down to Adam's Way. I think I might discover some new stuff going down here, too, because it looks like I've never actually gone down here. Is that a boat? Or is that a lighthouse? Oh, it's a light boat. God, I would be terrified to be stationed out here. Because there's actually people aboard, aren't there? Or isn't there? Yeah, there's people aboard. I would not want to be stationed out here. My god. Anyway, I'm not going to give up my recent news for that, because I need that for Adam's Way. Even though I think I'll be fine with the port report from Mount Palmerston as a way to get entrance to Adam's Way, I don't want to risk it. It's not worth trading that for just one Z story. Ooh, hello. What is that? Republic Dreadnought. 400 hit points. Definitely not going to be fighting that, especially with Hydrogen on board.
Oh wow, I can even give them the unfinished tale. Well, let's just use their recent news. Actually, no, maybe I should tell them the tale of hell. Because I really doubt a port reporter on Mount Palmerston is going to be useful anywhere else, but recent news might be. Let's do that. An exchange of glances, your ship is waved on towards a long stone jetty. Okay, so the day's just begun. The weird tree is growing, budding. What shall I do this time? I don't think I ever, um... I don't think I ever volunteered at the hospital before, so let's do that. No, this is new. Oh, whoa! Treatments for the Brisk Campaigner. Whoa. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Animescence. That is how you pronounce it, right? Animescence? I think so. Uh, it's a rare disease of the Elder Continent. A slow combustion of the soul. Gradually baking the vital organs. Poets suffer worse than most. Lovers worst of all. The blistered monks who run the hospital will accept any assistance. What the hell? A slow combustion of the soul gradually baking the vital organs. Jesus. Oh, it looks like she needs to have recovered to be able to educate the monks. <laughs> Root out a reckless poet? Huh. Interesting. Well, before that, let's look at this. No cure exists, but the monks claim they can delay the worst symptoms. Hmm. An unlikely collection of treatments. Okay, let's try it. We can spare a little, if your need is great. A gelid paste. A trio of astringent... filters? I think that says? To be taken in exact order and dosage. An epigram, to recite as the treatments are administered. Will this bunkum really work? Most likely not. Okay, there's a couple modest challenges, but let's do the one that I'm guaranteed to succeed. Let's root out a reckless poet. The cellarer has discovered scraps of love poetry on the pantry floor. The abbot wants the perpetrator found before they dangerously inflame the inmates' passions. <laughs> what? Oh my god. So love poetry is evil. It's a crime. The culprit. You catch the poet red-handed, composing by candlelight in a cupboard. Her hair is damp with sweat. She clutches the page she was writing tightly, knowing you'll try to take it. You watch its corners curl under her heat. Sorrowfully, the monks break the poet's pen and spill her ink. They give her magnum opus, the courier's wish, to you for disposal. Aww. I feel bad now. <laughs> now I have romantic literature. Poor poet. Let's assist in the cloisters, where the monks catalog the patient's dispositions, particularities, and progress. Taxonomy. You conduct interviews, record observations, track the simmering, inexorable advancement of a dozen cases of the disease. The more phlegmatic patients endure better than the melancholy and the sanguine. The abbot commands your attention to detail. Or commends your attention to detail. The monks are not wealthy, but they pay for your assistance with barrels of fresh well water, gold-crusted bread, and a small precious box of lemons. Okay, a couple supplies. Kind of running out of time here. I feel like doing this stuff is not really going to make any story events happen, just kind of going to give me little bits and bobs. You know, some supplies here, some romantic literature there. Let's return. What else can I do? Let's just sit beneath the tree. See if that does anything. Its limbs are bare. 
The square rattles with dead leaves. The truck groans at your back. Above you, withered branches scratch, spidery, at the air. A gnarled branch falls. The yellow-robed priestess sweeps it away. Well, it's time to return. And that's it. So if I have multiple things here, like, I can go back in with recent news. Can I start the whole process over again? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that, but I feel like I'm supposed to have uh, something waits me in port before I do that again, so I'm just going to hang around here until I comes back. I don't want to accidentally waste my recent news, only to find out that uh, I'm still on the same day, so I can't actually go back. Please don't come towards me. That would be quite rude. The lapping of the water is calming. Okay, and we go again. I think I did the other things before, but let's do them again. Let's listen to a storyteller. Oh, that's for a port report. Okay, gotcha. The Prester is on the verge of declaring the Dawn Machine a blasphemy. That, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. It's kind of scary. Alright, I think I've already read that before. Ooh, I can catch stuff. Okay, let's catch a nut that falls from the tree of a single day. Yeah, uh, picking them from a branch is forbidden, but fallen ones are useless. You'll need to intercept it between bow and ground. Ooh, I got it. Outlandish artifact. An hour you wait, and another hour. In that time, nuts fall beyond your reach. You ignore them. Clack, clack, clack. There. A nut has fallen from a high limb. It ricochets from branch to branch as it falls. Your hands snap out. The nut lands in your palm. Glossy, smooth, and brown. A number of passerbys cheer your catch. Excellent. <laughs> I can try to catch another nut. Let's not do that. Should I go back to the hospital? Let's go back to the curiosities. If I remember right, this place is kind of a sham, isn't it? Do I want to let my people go? That's only 20 Echo. Sure. Wow, lost 10 Terror. It's actually pretty good. Some see the sights. Some experiment with the hot, honeyed wine of the Elder Continent. Still others pay furtive visits to a shadowed tent whose sign promises the perfumed pantherine dances of the exotic South, performed to authentic and rousing music twice hourly. Okay, so they went to a strip club, basically. Let's go to that grotesquery. Yeah, I've done this before. Fragments, Tale of Terror, Memories. Is it time to go? Ah, it's time to go again. Hmm. Okay, well, I think it's time to go for real. Yeah, it's a pretty good place to buy fuel. Not that much more expensive than it is at London. Same with supplies, too. Ooh, you can actually buy a Foxfire Candles here for a reasonable price. I could take those. I could take those back to Port Carnelian. It's not that far away. I could use that to try to catch that thing. But again, the chance of catching it is so low. What was it, like 12% or something ridiculously low? That just doesn't seem like a good use of money. Nah, that's crap. I'm not going to do that. 
But, uh, let's buy a bunch of fuel. Yeah, let's just get as much as I can hold. Already got plenty of supplies. Okay, let's go to Varkas. Oh yeah, and you know how if I go down here... It Whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Oh shit. It really, really saw me. Okay, I'm going back to fucking port! Mm. Oh, 11 damage is actually not too bad, but stop shooting, you fucking asshole! Oh. Dicks. That thing saw me some, from so far away and I didn't even have my lights on. You fucking cock. And that thing definitely has aft weapons. I do not want to fight that, especially not now that I'm damaged. That thing fires really quickly. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, you know how I started to go down here? And it looked like I could kind of like go off the map? Well, apparently you actually can do that, and it triggers some sort of story event. So, if I feel like doing some crazy shit and maybe getting myself killed, then maybe I'll drive off the edge of the world. Don't feel like doing that right now, though. Alright, how, how the hell am I going to know when it's gone enough? I don't want the same damn thing to happen. Let's try again. Shit, I see it again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fucking see me. Don't fucking see me. That thing is nasty. Okay, we're good. I don't know if I'm faster than it. I'm not sure. Mm, looks like I am. Yeah, I'm a little bit faster than it. Ooh. city. Let's get a port report. Okay, well, before I continue back here to this place with a million different options, I remember there were so many here. Before I do that, I think I should end this episode before it becomes too long. So, in the next episode, what in the heck am I going to do? Well, obviously check out Varkas. Most likely going to get to delivering the, um, the hydrogen to the Empire of Hands. Yeah, I should definitely get to that in this episode. I also want to take a stop by the Isle of Cats on my way back to get some red honey, and also spend a bunch of money at Wisdom to go rescue the guy to continue the officer's quest. And that's pretty much all I have planned. So we'll see how that goes. So far it's been okay. I've certainly seen some new and interesting things. I haven't actually accomplished really all that much. But I'm working towards it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.